Hello, my friends. Um, my name is Marek. For those that don't know, most call me Bear or Bearski. Just wanted to welcome you to my channel and show you a quick feeding and one of my uh, juvenile piranha rescues, which I obtained about two months ago or so. It came with a batch of tiger barbs, which I then have uh, slowly expended and also introduced to my own. Yep the young young adults <laughs> the young adults also enjoy the company of the tiger barb i have seen a lot of questions and a lot of controversy as far as tank mates for the piranha red belly piranha or any piranha for that sense well as you noticed there's a pretty good number of them here and they don't seem to be exhibiting any kind of stress symptoms uh any kind of you know uh anxiety or whatnot that may be caused by the piranha as a matter of fact, if you notice, the piranhas are more anxious and more skittish, uncertain than the tiger barbs themselves. <laughs> All right, so real quick, uh, piranha feeding. Once again, I'm gonna do some, you know, uh, commotion and such, and then a reward in uh, form of feeding. I'm also gonna try to attach this root, which is floating now. Uh, freely and hopefully will sink within a couple of days maybe a week anyway that's what we're gonna do today and uh hopefully you'll enjoy and should you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to leave them um, below in the comment section also for those that are new here please subscribe uh ring the notification bell um Otherwise, you'll miss out on the new videos, new releases, and there's a lot new coming up, including the build-out of the 1500 gallon for the combined two batches of the piranhas, which will later enter uh, into the enormous, or <laughs> just a big old, big old tank that I'm planning out, right where Zulu is laying around. I don't know if you can see Zulu there. Here, see, he's taking a nap right now, right in front of the tank, but that's basically the layout of the tank as I was you know speaking talking about it earlier approximately 1500 gallon in uh, quarter cylinder shape we're hoping to reach six feet from the floor five is you know at least what I'm aiming for and of course four would be a minimal <laughs> anyway uh, let's get back to the feeding and uh, show you guys how the juvenile piranha handles the prey these guys are gonna get their daily Feeding, light job is in. Chub skis right here in the corner. See, there's no blood present or anything like that, but the piranhas can sense them within seconds of entering the tank. You can see they're starting to pick up a scent. We're getting more active and soon they'll seek him. They'll seek him out. There he goes. Couple nips. There's a fin missing. Tails missing, slowing down significantly. Slowing the prey down. Preserving energy and hunting. Tank is taller than the other one. <laughs> By a couple inches. Yeah, branch in front is floating but almost ready to sink. I have to wait until it's uh, completely submerged before I tie it up. There he goes. 
out in the open. He's hovering right there in the open. Sorry, my tripod is just not cooperating. I'm having a hard time maneuvering this camera without you know jittery and sporadic. Okay, here we go. Another attempt. Got him once more. It's gonna fall behind those rats. No, yeah, it does. <laughs> That'll do a quick, nice job of dismembering, dismembering the guy. But uh, another successful hunt for the juveniles. I see the uprooted some of my plants. Yeah, no big deal. By the way, that chub is still very much alive. He's right there. Still breeding. As the uh, barbarians. Finish them off, or I should say, get their share. All right, that's it for the day. Thanks for watching. Till next time.